What is up guys? We're here with another video. We are on a small private stream here in Connecticut. The weather, it's pretty warm. I'm excited spring is here. This is the second day of spring. The weather, it's up there. Today is going to get up into the 60s. I'm really only wearing a sweatshirt, nothing too crazy. Uh, this river is really tight, so it's going to be different. Nothing that you guys have seen me done on this channel before. So it's going to be difficult, but you know, I'm willing to take on that challenge. I like being able to fish all different types of waters. This uh, little stream has wild brown trout and brook trout, and then they also stock uh, brooks, browns, and rainbows, but they haven't done that this year. So a lot of these fish will be holdover or wild fish. And yeah, let's go get into some fish. I will just show you what I'm working with. All right, Stop. Less than ideal. Not the, not the best. So this just keeps coming off every time I do anything. And if I, when I tighten this, it just pushes it back and off. So gonna be tricky. We're definitely gonna have this fixed for next time. But today we have to make it work. So basically what we're gonna be trying to do today is fish in the corners, right? You can see over here, there's a corner all the water gets pushed and there's some brush lots of structure here so my dad he's, he's worked up with a dry dropper for me i have a 79 fenwick 28 and then i just got three weight line on it and i'm going to be fishing this little itty bitty uh jig streamer so for him we're going to be seeing if he will catch anything on the nymph or the dry for me i'll be seeing if i can catch anything on the streamer never fished this water before this is really my first time ever really seeing it so we will just see how things play out um probably scaring away any fish if there are any fish over here right now all right let's get in fishing there's definitely a fish in there see how this little this spit comes in on the side maybe like kneel in there and lob it out and drift it through. Got one. Oh, dude, that was a nice fish. That was cool, huh? Ah. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. That is so pretty. Yep, that's beautiful. All right, let me get the uh, hook out of his mouth. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. That was sick, I like that. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, there you go. There you go. Whew. 
Way to go. like this lives here. I wouldn't believe you. But I'm a believer now. Take care of these guys. Look at the colors. Oh, shadow, yeah. Look at the colors. Green fins, beautiful. Let's get him back. Ready? Yep. She gone. Found it. Let's go. All right, guys, we're ending it there. Uh, overall, it was a nice day. You know, my hands never got cold. My guides never iced over. It was just a really nice day on the river. Uh, me and my dad both caught very beautiful wild browns. Uh, dry flies on dry flies too. So it was really nice having some dry fly actions. There was a uh, small blueing olive hatch. They were pretty decent size though, uh, and it was really 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 refreshing being able to throw dry flies and not big heavy indicator nymphing setups or any of that jazz so we will be back we're gonna figure this place out we're gonna catch a ton more fish here and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one